<clears throat> so I had this one chair, but I sent it home with my mother when she came for Mom's Weekends. Now the one I'm in, you know, I'm like way closer to the, the bottom of the, the screen than, than the top, but I'm too lazy to go get a pillow to sit on. So you're just going to have to deal with it. Now on to complaining to you about something else. I lost my phone today, and I'm not, like, obsessed with my phone. Like, I'm not texting people all the time. I'm not calling people all the time. It doesn't have internet and stuff, and I don't use it to take photos. It's nothing special. But losing my phone, I feel like I'm very uncomfortable. Like, now I've lost a form of communication that I had, and I don't know what to do, and I'm upset. And I know the last time I had it because I had texted my friend, and so we looked at her phone, and it was like, oh, I sent this to you at 11.02, so I was in a class at the time. So then I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, bike on over there and be like, hey, see, is my phone in this classroom? Is it where I was sitting? And then I went over there, but there there was a class in the room, so I didn't want to, like, be able, like, hello, I'm going to interrupt your lecture right now for a minuscule matter of looking for a phone, and then you'll judge me as, like, one of those people. So I didn't, and I'm just going to check tomorrow and hope there's no one there at the time, and I really hope it's there because I don't like not having my phone and I'm upset. On another note, as of today, I am officially a human, which you don't know exactly what that means. Because if I, for instance, showed you this one, that would mean I'm a zombie. I'm playing this game at my university called Humans vs. Zombies. It's like a giant game of tag, except slightly different because if you're a human, you can throw out a sock at a zombie, and then they're out of the game for 15 minutes. But obviously the goal is for if the zombie tags the human, the human becomes a zombie, and the goal of the zombies is to turn all the humans into zombies, and the goal of the humans is to outlast the zombies, and there's like a final mission and things, but whatever. I won't bore you with the details, but that's what I'm doing. And you know what it means? Extreme paranoia. Like, I'm like constantly like... Checking behind me is like, is there a person with a green wristband by me? I don't know. And if there is, I have to have a sock ready to throw at them and hope maybe a second one in case there's two of them. And it's just like, I can't go anywhere. And they, you know, frown upon you using buses or bikes because if you're on a bike, you're safe. And if you're on a bus, it's your safe zone. So I'm walking everywhere and it's like, is there someone there? Is there someone there? Like someone comes up and like, look at them head to toe. Or do you have green anywhere on you? Is that a green? Oh, they're wearing a green shirt. Oh no, they're it's not. Oh. Stressful. But um, last time, because we played this game last semester, I lasted pretty well until I was hanging out with my friend and I was going back to my dorm and it was four in the morning. And I was tired and I had forgotten he was a zombie and he was like, we were like 15 feet away from the building and he was like, oh yeah, by the way, tag, you're a zombie now. I was like, oh, I forgot. It's four in the morning. Oh, I'm tired. So this time I planned for that not to happen and I'm going to be a human for as long as, as possible. I'll let you know how it goes.